Sauce Tube. My name is Dawn Marie and this is DM's Crafty Vortex. This is my channel mostly about cross stitch and then any other crafty adventures I get up to through the week. A lot of times there's knitting, there's diamond painting, once in a while there might be some sewing and I have my cats fighting right behind my phone so I apologize if my eyes stray. Leave her alone. Ben, leave your sister alone. And they're behaving now for a little bit. We'll see what happens in a few seconds. Sometimes they just pretend to behave until I'm not looking and then the attack is on. So as I was saying, I do multiple crafts but I always try to start out with the cross stitch. Today, however, is a day in the life, so it is a vlog, and what would be a vlog without my dog having a squeaky toy to start out my episode? But we're just gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. It's life, right? Life, dog, squeaky toys. And there is no toy around the squeaky. He saved the squeaky, and that is now his favorite toy. So again, today is a day in the life. It's not my typical cross stitch channel. With that being said, unfortunately, there is not much cross stitch on the day in the life because I was unable to get my hands on any cross stitch boxes. I was able to get one stitchy bag um, and it has a few items in it. So I just got this the other day and I have been opening one a day on this. So we will go ahead and open this and see what we have. So this was considered a goodie a day and it's combined with a daily email for a cross stitch chart, but it is just in chart format. So I am unable to show you that because then you would be able to see the chart and that would be copyright infringement. We don't want to do that. So we have two of these little things left. And again, it's a stitch every day box. So far, there's been a lot of silk flosses and beads. I've never had any silk flosses, so it's fun to start building up that collection. And let's see what we have. And it's another Dinky Dye Silk Floss Cranberry Relish. Ooh, kind of matches. Look how pretty that is. Some more silk floss to go to my collection. And then we just have one more to open tomorrow. One day left of this and we are done. And then on to my yarn advents. Day 23, ginger snap that. There's only one more to go. Feels like a fat one. And we have Coffee Crisp. I don't think I've gotten a candy yet in here that I've recognized the name of, but my kids are enjoying them. And then the yarn. Oh my goodness, look at this one. So pretty. So as I said in my last couple of um, vlogs, Michelle over at Michelle Bendy Stitchy is taking her advent box, which um, is the advent box I'll be opening next. We both got the same one. And she's making a cowl with hers. And then what she's gonna do is whatever's left over, because the cowl doesn't call for all 24 skeins, she's gonna do a giveaway on the rest. And I'm gonna do the same with my Ginger Snap That yarn. I'm gonna pick out the yarns that I'm gonna use on my cowl, and then whatever's left, I'm gonna do a giveaway on my normal floss tube channel. Um, maybe not the next floss tube, which will be next week, but the one after that, which will be, I think, three weeks from now. So this is my ginger snap that. My next one is my Dragon Horde Yarns, uh, year four at Hogwarts. And this is in collaboration with Yarn Cafe Creations. If you know them at all, Dragon Horde Yarns is the daughter, Yarn Cafe Creations is the mother. They used to have a floss tube together, but they haven't done an episode since um, pretty much COVID. But once in a great while, they will 
randomly do an episode on their own, but they come together for the advent box. And today is a Dragon Horde yarn day. And then tomorrow will be a Yarn Cafe creation day. And then there's one full skein on there. And then this one is done. It's gonna be so sad not opening advents every day. Ooh, look at this one. Look at all the colors in this, all the different pinks and purples. And again, this is Dragon Horde Yarn. And this is Bubble Bath with Myrtle. Poor Myrtle. There it is. Look how pretty that is. And then my last advent is actually just one skein of yarn and it's from the Cozy Knitter. And it's a self-striping -stri sock yarn. And what she has done is there is 24 different colored stripes in this game. And every day you knit one stripe as part of your advent. So in theory, come Christmas, you should have a completed pair of socks. I don't know if I'll have a completed pair of socks because this is my first year doing it. So I didn't quite know when to turn for the heel, um, but I might be, I'm close, close to having a toe. I might have to go into a couple more. So there are more than 24 stripes in here, so you can go a little bit bigger. But once you get to the 25th stripe, you start repeating colors. So here is my Advent socks. And I am knitting them two at a time so that I don't get second sock syndrome. They are on my 40 inch cable Chalgu needles, US size one. And I cast it on 64 stitches. And I'm just doing a plain vanilla sock. I am letting the yarn do all the speaking. I did use a sock pattern, um, Kay Litton, one of her sock patterns to do the heel turn. And everything else I've just done on my own. The um, twisted rib cuff. This is Sweet Georgia yarn. This is not part of the Cozy Knitter skein. And then we get into the colors. So we have day one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, and twenty-three. So there we are with the socks. So I think. 24 is gonna have to be a normal stripe and then hopefully I'm ready for the toe decrease at that point. So here we are. And then last night I was chosen to get a gift for my boss. Um, as I've stated in some vlogs, I've just recently done a change. Um, I still work for the same company but I've done, a, I've done a change in jobs and a change in location. So my boss is my new boss. I have known him all of two weeks and I'm still on night shift until Sunday. So of those two weeks, I see him maybe an hour a day. So I do not know much about my new boss, but I was put in charge of the gift. Hopefully he likes it. But I did make him a card. He probably won't appreciate the fact that it was handmade. He probably won't even realize it was handmade. Um, it's a diamond painting card, but I'll know that I put the effort in in making him a card. So this is the card he's gonna get to go along with his gift. Very excited to give that to him. Uh, tomorrow being Christmas Eve, I will work an abbreviated shift. I'll still work. Um, I'll work eight hours instead of nine hours tomorrow, but it'll be a 10 to six shift. So that'll be nice to get home somewhat early. And then Saturday, I do my last um, one to 10 shift, and then I go on to days. So I'll, I'll only do a one to 10 shift once a month for my new job, but I get to pick the day I wanna do that during the month, which will be nice. And then, and then that's it. The one to 10s, five days a week is done. I'm very excited about it. It's almost here. And I'm a little nervous about waking up to my alarm clock but I'm sure I'll adjust to that. And it'll just be nice to be home with my family at night. And doing these daily vlogs has definitely taught me how much I don't get to do and how much 
there isn't on a vlog because I'm usually home when everybody else is at work. So uh, 2021 should be a good year for me at least. You know, hopefully we get rid of COVID, but it's also some, definitely gonna be some positive changes in my life. I'm gonna get this cleaned up. I'm gonna spend a little time cross-stitching and get my stripe in for tomorrow. And I will see you all in a little bit. just need to say that this border is very deceptive. I got this final clue on the Stitch and Book Club and I thought I would bang this out in a couple of hours. And now I am a couple of days in and I have two of the borders done. I still have one more to go and the fill-in. I will succeed. I will finish this. It is going to take longer than I thought. But Look at how pretty it's coming out. So excited. I'm gonna go eat some lunch and get ready for work. And then hopefully I'll have a few more minutes to start on the third border around. We'll see how much I get done. So I have my drafting table covered with a couple of old towels to keep my cats off my diamond art painting. The problem is Eventually, I will need to wrap the painting around the back. And apparently, somebody has decided to claim this as their spot. Gonna have to rethink the setup. So this is Kayla, the ultimate in spoiled. It is cold out, so my husband is going to come and load something in her car for her so she doesn't have to get out of the car and get cold. It's right? Cold. It's cold. But she did drive all the way here to get it because we asked her to, even though it's almost 11 o'clock at night. So she's a good kid. We'll load it up for her. Right? It's a little after 11 and I walked in the door a few minutes ago. So excited to a happy mail day. I only expected one of these in the mail today, but I've got all three. So excited. So I'm gonna put those away and I might start the toe decreases on my socks tonight, we'll see. Or I might get in bed and just be exhausted and go to sleep. Not quite sure yet. But either way, I will see you all tomorrow for the last Vlogmas. I can't believe it's here already. Finally opening up those last skeins and I have to go to work early tomorrow, but I get out early tomorrow and then that's it. Then it's Christmas after that. So I will see you all in the morning.